Welcome to my garage. I've invited you all in here today so we can talk about um, steroids. I'm going to give you my um, take on steroids. Um, this is a video that I never thought I'd even talk about, um, bring it up. But I figured, you know, um, I've got you know a lot of experience in the fitness industry, being competitive to bodybuilder, and um, you know, and um, looking up to uh, a lot of different role models and and seeing how they got to where they got to and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I think it's a pretty um, it's a pretty underground topic, but it's one that we all think about and we all talk about, and everyone wants to know. <laughs> so here it is. So first of all. Um, obviously, you know, in the fitness industry, um, competitive bodybuilding, all that sort of stuff, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not really talked about, but um, it's definitely there, it's present, and a lot of people use them, and athletes use them, and not just this sport, but a lot of other sports use them um, to obviously get an advantage or gain more muscle or recover faster. You know, I've always been very careful with how I approach um, you know these sort of things because you have to understand that you know steroids is a drug and it affects your well it can affect well-being your moods your hormones and all that sort of stuff so it's something that you need to uh, respect and I'm going to give you my experience on steroids and um, why I took them for uh, and for what reasons so obviously I started weightlifting when I was about 14 and I didn't know anything about steroids didn't know what they were and I was just going to the gym and it was great. And I did it, train naturally for at least six years before I even decided to take them. Uh, I remember training at the, at the gym with my brothers and, um, and some other friends. And we're all training, we're all pretty much around this, you know, I'm a little bit weaker than my older brother and friends and stuff. And then I remember one year, his strength, my friend, he just got a lot bigger and stronger, a lot faster. And I was like, what the hell is going on? How does he do this? <laughs> and then uh, we learned that he was taking steroids. So that's when I first kind of knew a little bit about them and uh, what they could do. Um, and, uh, but I refused to take them. I was happy training natural and just seeing where my body could, what I could do naturally and where I could take my potential. Plus also, it was so unavailable for me, you know, where I grew up, where I, where, where I was living and stuff. If my parents found out, they would kick me out of home for sure. Um, so it was something that was frowned upon, it was unavailable, they were very expensive, and it's, um, and, uh, and it's also illegal. So you know, you, couldn't, you shouldn't take them. Um, that's what we were told. So, so it wasn't until uh, I, uh, I'd done my first, I'd done the uh, A and B, Australian Natural Bodybuilding Competition, I decided to keep, compete in bodybuilding. And I did the, the first few shows natural. Um, I won the, Mr. the Junior Mr. Universe, natural and then I was 20, 20 21 or something and then um, I uh, had a mentor and uh, you know I got this this uh, hype and excitement about winning the universe I want to compete next year obviously and continue to, to compete in these bodybuilding shows I had an older mentor and uh, he said you know how did you you know he talked to me after and he said um, you know you're going to compete again and I said yeah of course I want to you know, I want to defend the title or get the, the following Mr. Universe title. And he said, well, um, well, you, you need to, he said, basically, he said, um, if you want to place in the top five, because I would be in the open division, he said, you have to t take t steroids. And um, I was, you know, was on, I was a bit unsure about that. But um, I understood exactly what he said, because everyone in the age, the, the next division up for me, they're a lot bigger, stronger, a lot more ripped, more defined, they had more muscle than what my physique had, had at the time. So, um, so I made the decision myself that I wanted to be a champion bodybuilder and I wanted to win the Miss Universe. So, you know, taking those decisions, making that decision, you know, I decided I'm going to take them. So, um, now I took them only for the purpose of getting ready for competitions, for competing. Uh, and I would just do a cycle. I think the first one was like maybe 10 weeks or something. And it was leading up to a show, you take them and um, to get ready. And I had, I had proper guidance. I had this, my older mentor, he would show me how to take them, what to take, all that sort of stuff. And then after the show, the competition, you know, stop and you, you, let your, you give your body a break and you, and you come off until you're ready to compete again. So that was how we did it. And um, it's crazy now because 
you know, uh, you get these kids, young kids and the teenagers, you know, deciding that they're, they, they're rushing into it too quick. And I'm going to give you my advice now. First of all, if you haven't trained at least five years, you know, don't start taking them the first year training, second year training. Wait until five years of, of solid training before you start to decide to take steroids. You want to see what your body, what your potential, what your genetics, what you can do naturally before you decide to get some extra help. You know, see where you, your body can take it um, and, and, then, and then decide you know, if you want to go down that road. If you have good potential, good genetics, um, you, know, you might find that you can become a champion without them doing a natural federation. And that'd be, that's great, you don't have to take, there's no risks, there's no health risks. You know, it's, uh, it's, it'd be a really, you know, I think it's, um, that's one thing that I always thought about. Maybe I should have just stayed in the natural divisions, but you know, I wanted to surpass and become um, an even bigger champion. So that's up to you. Again, it's an individual choice. You make the decision yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone make the decision for you. You know, if you decide you want to take them, then you take them, but um, be responsible. Make sure you know what you're doing. Get them from a reliable source. Uh, the other thing is have a, legitimate, a real reason to take them. Don't just take them because you want to grow muscles or be ripped or impress a girl or, you know, be the biggest dude in the room or be bigger than your friends. That's bullshit reasons, okay? If you're going to take them, take it because you're wanting to win a body, but do it for a competition, okay? Do it for a valid reason. Um, you know, if you want to be, become a champion bodybuilder, then I'd say that's an okay reason to take them. Um, if you're doing it to just, you know, impress someone or, try and do it for the gram or whatever <clears throat> like that's that's stupid all right i think you should be doing it for um a, a, a real reason so another thing is that we can talk about is um why people don't talk about it why people don't um admit taking it and uh there's probably a few reasons that i can think of um one reason being is that um you know it might be for personal privacy reasons that they don't take it um, they might be because, you know, who knows, um, you know, family or friends or girlfriends or someone, you know, they frown upon or they don't want them to find out. Could be because of their profession or their work. Um, you know, that might uh, be tested in their line of work and that's why they don't take it. Another reason is that they um, uh, might be a banned, it's a banned substance, obviously, so they, um, they can't admit to taking it. Um, for uh, for those reasons too, so you can be assured that there are certain um, athletes and and fitness uh, um, you know people in this industry that say they don't take steroids and they say they're natural, claim natural, but probably really they are taking something. And you can usually tell how they look and the physique. I think it can be uh, obvious sometimes. <laughs> sometimes really blatantly obvious and they still admit natural, which is, again, that's their personal choice and they have their reasons why they claim natural. Um, but I'm just trying to shed some light on you guys. Like, don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Like, just because they say something might not actually be true, you know? Think for yourselves again. Um, but now, I feel happy to talk to you guys about it, shed some light on it, give you my, uh, my take on it. So that's... My little uh, spiel on, on steroids, and I just hope that by talking to you here, you know, there are going to be some kids watching this and they can realize that, you know what, you don't have to take them, whatever, if you're feeling pressure, whatever. Just uh, precaution in using it and, um, and don't rush into it. Think about it first. Don't let anyone else influence you. Make the individual choice yourself, okay? Um, with all that being said, change topic. Should I compete again? <laughs> this is another topic, I don't know if we can talk about that right now, but um, what if, if I, I don't, maybe we can just save this discussion for another one, but it's definitely something I want to talk about. Um, and I'm still trying to work out whether that I'll do another competition right now in my current situation where I'm in, in my life. You know, I've been really enjoying just training and, and, uh, and just enjoying going to the gym without any pressure of doing a diet or you know, federations and sort of stuff. So, you know, I'm going to talk about this one uh, in another video. Gotta get to the gym.